What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to a gameplay preview of Slime Son on the PC. As always, full disclosure, this copy of the game provided by the publisher. This is due out in April, according to the Steam page, and then on consoles after they launch on PC, Mac, and Linux. This is a 2D platformer in the vein of something like Super Meat Boy, but with a very... It's not monochromatic, it's five colors, but it's still, it's a very limited palette, and uh, it makes the most of that limited palette. So I'm going to hop in here and play for a little bit. Uh, I have played about a half hour so far and have enjoyed this thoroughly uh, of what I've been playing. So let's just hop into the very beginning and give you a basic idea of what the controls are. Uh, you are a slime. You are swallowed by this giant worm uh, deal, and uh, you have a timer on each stage to outrun the acid. So... I have the jump button, I have the dash uh, on either the trigger or the bumper on the right, and then I have the slow down and become slime deal on the left trigger left bumper. So you can see here I have, in the upper uh, left corner, I have a timer, when that runs out, here comes the acid. So I'm gonna, sit, I'm gonna sit here and wait for it for a second, because then you see the acid rises up, and if you touch anything red, you're dead. So in that manner, uh, it is kind of like Downwell, which was a very monochromatic deal where it was black and white and then anything red would kill you. Uh, and that was pretty fucking cool. So, uh, all about the visual styling. But yes, turning into slime with the left trigger allows you to go through anything green. So, green, uh, you can pass through and red will kill you. And so, in, in that respect, it's kind of like Ikaruga uh, and having to think about, okay, well, what do I need to do here for this particular deal? Um, and they're, you know, pretty much single screen short stages, at least so far, and, uh, I've enjoyed them quite a bit, and they get way harder, as, you know, anything al along the lines of a Super Meat Boy is going to get, uh, a lot harder. I can zoom in here, I haven't found the zoom in to be super useful just yet, but it's there, uh, if you ever actually want to use it, uh, it is there. Um, so, this is teaching you, hey, jump, and then dash, uh, if you just fall, you can jump. Um, which is cool, so, uh, there is nuance here, and the controls, I will tell you, feel excellent. They feel exactly how you want them to feel for a 2D platformer, that is extraordinarily important, because there are games like, you know, um, Little Big Planet that feel like garbage, that just, I can't stand floaty-ass controls in my 2D platformers, so, give me nice, tight controls like, uh, Meat Boy, or Spelunky, or, you know, Anything along those lines is going to feel uh, fantastic. Uh, so there are apples to collect in these stages, and you get the apples and you can unlock additional things in the game, and I'll get into that in a moment as I kind of just blaze through uh, some of these stages, and trust me, it gets way, way harder. And as someone who did beat Super Meat Boy, I didn't unlock everything, uh, you know, I didn't do all the dark stages, but I beat the regular core game, which in and of itself is not an easy task. I tell you what, um, but just kind of breezing through here, not really looking at all the collectibles at the moment. You can see it just does, it, it ramps up to a degree, and uh, it's one of those games where I'm not sure I'll, I'll ever f finish it, you know, because just because of my schedule and my time frame, uh, games that get extraordinarily difficult, uh, Duck Norris is a pretty good name, um, are games I don't necessarily have the time to commit to getting good at, right? So let's hop out of here of the level select here and show you what else is here. Uh, I made it to up to 13 so far, that was up to just 3. Um, but there is other stuff in here. So you head into the shopping town, you got uh, a bunch of different locations, a bunch of NPCs to talk to, like this guy who will sell you different play styles. Uh, so welcome to Slump Town, whoa! He sells magical pills! And so I have a bird here on my head that helps me go to different stages. He gives me, you know, he gives me the transport between stages. Uh, but here you go. So if you get the apples, you unlock different play styles based on, you know, you spend the apples to get more play styles. So you can see here, jumps higher, dashes further, but can't walk. Dash down for super bounce, but can't dash up. So I unlocked uh, can jump twice, but can't dash. So let's just use that for a stage or two here because I haven't tried it yet. I just unlocked it. Uh, also, you have different art. So I unlocked this deal. Because, honestly, my one complaint... You see how the that border is constantly kind of pulsating? When you first start playing, it's 
kind of distracting. Uh, eventually, you kind of just tune it out, and it's part of the game, but uh, having that be, like, three layers of that around my screen, I found to be a bit distracting. Uh, additionally, we have uh, style options. You know, they just it's all cosmetic stuff, but hey, if you want to make your guy look different, or your girl look different, you know, you have that option for both the slime and the bird. Uh, the bird is the word. Or so, so I've heard. Uh, you have an arcade. The arcade's not in here yet. So I've seen a thing in the menu about how they're going to have, I guess, different mini games or something. At this point, it is still a work in progress. It's not quite out yet. So, you know, I don't have... Uh, the full game is not quite here yet. Um, and there's my uh, apples and trophies and coins and that kind of stuff. Uh, you do have the option. Uh, I forget what's in here. It's not letting me in. Can I only enter in as my main dude, maybe? I don't know. So you have the option to, if you're stuck, to buy the next level. But it says, warning, if you do that, you're not going to be able to get 100% game completion. Not that I ever get 100% game completion uh, in anything, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that, that was kind of a good look at uh, the different shop things you can get to. Uh, but there are other extras here uh, in the extras. There is a... New Game Plus, which has... This game is supposed to have 100 stages, and New Game Plus is another 100 stages, or something insane like that. Um, it has some kind of Twitch speedrun thing. I'm not really sure what that is, because I don't do Twitch speedruns. Uh, but also, eventually, a boss rush mode, uh, and I have not got far enough to get into any bosses just yet. So, that being said, let's hop back into where I was, which is 13 here. Bounce Beardness, uh, which is some... Bouncy business. And then we do that. Nope, I fucked that up. And then, yeah. So they're all just very short, very difficult, but really cool. And, like, I really like the look of this. Uh, I think it feels fantastic to play. Um, you know, definitely a bit of, you know, if it... I'm not, I'm not sure if that is that similar to Meat Boy, but it's, it's close. Like, just in the way that the slime trail uh stays on the stage after you die much like when in meat boy when you die you got you get that you know uh um blood um but i dig the five color look i think it's fantastic uh just very stark and uh the lack of a palette to work with makes you more creative in how you use the limited colors that you have uh and i'm always down for games that do things a little bit differently. Uh, but also, I can't dash right now, so that kind of makes things... Uh, having been used to dashing makes things a little bit more... Don't get hit by that! Thank you. A um, little more tricky, but... Yeah, I think this is uh, super well made, and uh, and now I gotta get back up to the top of this. That's not gonna... No! I don't want to get hit by that! No! I... Yeah, nope, nope, nope. Let's, um... Let's, um... Let's get back to regular here, because that was, uh... Messing me up pretty hardcore. Pretty hardcore. So, do that. Dash through. And then we're out. So, I missed the apple there, but, uh, like a lot of things, I'm gonna be like, I'm focusing on getting through the stage regular first before I even worry about any kind of collectibles. Because, you know, they're not the most important thing in the world. Um, they're good to have, but, uh, not super necessary because I'm just looking to beat the stages. In a, in a lot of cases. But hey, there's an, an, an apple right here. I can just get that one, and that's not a big deal. It's kind of right in front of my face. Um, so yeah, I would imagine this game gets a lot harder. Uh, I fucked that up pretty bad. I imagine this game gets a, a lot harder. And so I guess my, my thing is, man, I love the look here, and I think it plays excellent, but would I ever actually beat it? Uh, that's debatable. Very debatable, because it would depend on how much time I would have to spend on it. Uh, and I am always constantly playing 8,000 different games, and, you know, that's just kind of what I do here on YouTube. But this is really cool, so I would definitely recommend putting it on your Steam wish list uh, if you are into this kind of game. So, that's if you loved Super Meat Boy, if you loved, uh, you know, very, very difficult platforming games that are very well made... Uh, this one is most certainly one of those. So if you played games like, um... Oh, what was it called? What was it called? Um... Electronic Super Joy was the name of the game I was... I could not think of that name. It was... I, went, I, I knew it was E-something. And it just was not 
ringing a bell. So, what the hell is that thing up top? That's a worm that wants to kill me, I'm assuming. So, that's gonna be a problem as we... Uh, nope. So here's where me talking and playing becomes a problem with games that are difficult. Uh, I can I can do it sometimes, but for the most part, uh, it is a bit too much to try to make a cohesive... That's an enemy. A cohesive thought. Damn it! Uh, and also get through something that requires a fair bit of dexterity. Um, also, there's no pause button. Or actually, well, escape, I'm sorry. The the start button on the Xbox One controller is not pausing. So there is a pause button if you hit escape. So please patch that in. That'd be good. Anyway, um, so you can see here, I've only made it not even in level 2 yet. I'm only in level 1. Uh, I'm only on stage 14 out of 100. So uh, certainly a lot more game in here in Slime Song. So that being said, I think this is awesome. Every once in a while, I get a game in my inbox that I just go... That's fucking crazy. I probably never would have heard of this otherwise, and I am super excited to play more of it. That being said, I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.